that camera on and let's get rolling. Good evening. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the American Record Journal, and welcome to the highlight show from Quarter Final Wednesday. We thought it was going to be Quarter Final Tuesday, then we got the snow. Everything got pushed 24 hours, but did not spoil the drama. In fact, only made it better. Four area teams in action tonight. Three of them moving on. Let's take it from the top. Class Double L. Southington holds off Ridgefield 13 to nine. Southington's defense. It is for real. Class L, Maloney, 35, Berlin, 7, Angel Arce, 2, Cam Marino, once, twice, three, and four times. Four touchdown passes from Angel to Cam. James Tarver with a touchdown run. Maloney going back to the Class L semifinals. And in Class S, the Sheehan Titans. Put it all in capital letters. Sheehan Titans. They just take Woodland to the woodshed tonight, 51 zip, and basically that game was over in the first quarter. 30 points for the Titans. Terrence Bogan, three touchdowns. He is now Sheehan's all-time leading rusher. Go figure. We had Zach Davis just a couple years ago. Terrence Bogan right on his heels. Now the all-time career rushing leader at Sheehan. And Jordan Davis, Zach Davis, his younger brother, had two touchdown catches tonight. He has the career touchdown receiving record at Sheehan. Congratulations to the Titans. 51 zip winners in Class S. They're going to be taking on Ansonia in the semifinals on Monday. What a matchup. Southington is going to be hosting Darien. Have you heard of Darien, Southington? Of course they have. They're going to be waiting for the blue wave. Blue on blue on Monday, this time in Southington and the double L semis. And Maloney on Monday is going down to Daniel Hand to play the Hand Tigers defending Class L champs. Maloney knows that because they lost to the Tigers in last year's Class L finals. And they say, Carpenter, you don't need to remind us. We're going down there on Monday looking for revenge. Our one losing team tonight, Cheshire Rams. And really, they look very good early against Simsbury. Got out to a 14-zip lead on two touchdown passes from Jason Shamilla. But Simsbury turns around 17 points in the second quarter, sparked by a safety of all things. 17-14 by halftime, and that's the score that stands. Cheshire fumbled inside the uh, Simsbury 10-yard line in the fourth quarter and had an interception inside the Simsbury 10-yard line, line in the fourth quarter. 17-14. It stands. Simsbury moves on to face Newtown, and Cheshire sees uh, its best season basically since the 2009 state title year come to a close at 8-3. and three. But we still have three teams left to go, and we're looking forward to another busy night on Monday. For now, let's take you through the highlights from tonight. My man Aaron was up at Falcon Field where Maloney was hosting Berlin. I'm going to hit the magic space bar right over here. Let's roll. Right off the opening kick. I love this onside kick, and the guy who recovers it, Jaden Miles, the kicker. You don't see that all the time. Jaden Miles recovers the onside kick. Maloney gets right down to business. This is Cam Marino actually taking a run. Nice gain there to get Maloney going. And uh, along comes number four, Mr. James Tarver, coming off his MVP performance at the Stoddard Bowl, where he scored five touchdowns. James just had one touchdown tonight uh, with uh, Angel Arce and Cam Marino hooking up with each other four times. And here's the first one. Doo, 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 doo. Right into my man Aaron's living room. <laughs> Hope you weren't shaking up on that play, Aaron. Loney, seven zip. Berlin counters on this play to tie the game. Seven to seven. Maloney will never trail in this game. James Tarver breaks off an 80-plus yard run here. Almost broke it. But it leads to the second Angel Arce to Cam Marino touchdown pass. A couple more runs by James gets uh, the Spartans in position. Here's Cam. Boom, boom, shake, rather and roll. See you later. It's 14-7 Maloney. And... Um, Yet another connection from RC to Marino. Got a note. When it was 14 to 7, Berlin was driving late in the first half. They got down inside the Maloney five and they fumbled. And the fumble was covered by Cody Talento. And the Spartans took that turnover and made it 21 to 7 on the third RC to Marino touchdown. That was a pretty big play there. Berlin could have tied the game. It said it's 21 to 7 at halftime. Maloney scores twice more in the third quarter. You saw the last uh, R.C. to Marino uh, touchdown, and that's the last time I'm going to say R.C. to Marino, at least for tonight, because I'm starting to get a little tongue-tied with it. And James Tarver added a touchdown run, 35-7. James Tarver did get shaken up, uh, came out of the game, was carried off the field by his teammates, but was walking around after the game, which was good to see. Maloney is going to need all hands on deck Monday night in Madison at the Surf Club. Class L semifinals, rematch of last year's final. 
the double L semifinal at Fontana Field. In that game, Southington Darien, hey, Southington remembers. 2015, 2016 semis, they were down in Fairfield County and they lost to Darien. And Darien, of course, handed Southington its lone defeat of the current year. Southington is 10 and 1. Southington, number two seat. Darien, number three. That's going to be a heck of a game on Monday, as will be Sheehan and Ansonia. But got to say, Sheehan right now, uh, tonight, combined with the Carini Bowl, they've outscored the last two opponents, let's see, 107 to 0. Sheehan is hot at the right time. And that's where we stand through the quarterfinals. Four teams went in, three teams come out, three teams going to the semis on Monday. Where will we be standing going to next Friday's, uh, Saturday's final? You're going to have to come back and check on Monday. For now, I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Merit and Record Journal. Thank you for tuning in. Be good. Still fighting another day, man. Still fighting another day. This is right where we want to be, going back to the state semifinals. All right? Whoever we're playing, hope the tan, bring them. All right, bring them. All right, we ain't backing down from no one. Look at me. Backing down from no one. You understand me? All right, got a special thing going here. Special thing going. Let's keep this train moving now. Keep the train moving. Make sure you're on time to school tomorrow. On time to school tomorrow. Film right after my meetings are over, my third, my important Thursday meetings. As soon as they're over, we'll go right to the film session. So 2.40. 245, we'll go into the P room, we'll watch the film from tonight's game. All right, we'll get better and we'll see who we're going to play. We've got a great game plan. All right, bring them on, baby. Bring them on. Back to the state signs. Great job, man. Ice up, ice up. Ice up, ice up. Ice up, ice up. Yeah, get some breakfast in the calf tomorrow, man. Hey, hey, family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Family!